Let's make two savory meat stews for the Metasauruses and some tasty vegetable stews for the Vegasauruses. Perfect. Hello, sore survivors, and welcome back to Stone Hearth. Today is August 27th, 2015, and Alpha 11 is upon us. It came out about a week ago, in fact, but I haven't really had much time to play around with it until, uh, until last night. So I've gone ahead and established a whole new village. We've got Punchwood Village here. And I want to jump in and show you guys some of the new stuff added to the Alpha since our last episode. And away we go! Here we are, Punchwood Village. And whoa, what's up with the battle music? We have exciting battle music here. I'm very excited. Uh, my heart is racing. There were some goblins over here. Oh, here they are. Hey, buddies. Little guys with their uh, hypnotic campfire... I can't stop looking at it. Just kidding. Oh, who, oh, here comes our, here comes our footman, <laughs> Daff. Daff's gonna wail on him and send him packing. Yeah, you better, you better run. He's like, hey, he's whacking my friend with a hammer. I'll just stand and watch. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, oh, gosh, he's coming for me now. <laughs> he was hypnotized by his own campfire. Not a good thing. Anyway, okay, yeah, he'll finish them off, and the music will stop, and then we can chat. Uh, oh, we have a fox friend. Yes, we do. Defended by Chell Stroden. He's our trapper. Um, he spared the life of that little bugger. Anyway, yeah, so we have three new things to take a look at, guys. And I'm getting distracted. I'm very easily distracted. So let's focus on those three new things. Hurry up, Daff. Kill that stinking goblin. <laughs> He'll chase him all over the dang universe. So we have, uh, we have new crates now. So you can see we have crates here for storage. They're just boxes. We've got a couple of different varieties. We've got this uh, large wooden crate, we've got the small wooden crate, and then we have these uh, beautiful treasure chests. Leather-bound chests. Aren't they sweet? So each one of these can um, store certain items, or well, actually any item that, a, uh, that you can store in your, your uh, regular stockpiles, of course, and you can customize what you want in each box, which is fantastic, and it shows you down here the actual... Um, number of items I can contain and then of course the contents and somebody put all right who put this the, the berries that stain inside the lovely leather bound chest hmm why are you looking the other way San and Jondal turn around and tell me what all right uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the bottom we'll check your fingers you have purple stains on your fingers okay maybe you just ate lunch okay this is gonna be more difficult than I thought <laughs> anyway this is for money guys it's for the cash and yeah, we have no cash great here let's uh let's get rid of this all right, here's your chance to get that out of there. Yeah, you get that out right now, Jondal. There you go. All right, so it was him. He's feeling guilty. Now, I just want cash in there, guys. I think I originally had my cash in... Oh, this box. Right, right, right. So here's what we're going to do. Watch this. Nothing. Get out of there. I don't want the money into the fire. So this thing is just loaded with cash. So we have all this gold coins. Yeah, it's money. <laughs> it's money, money. Yeah, get it out of there. Hurry up. Billy Idol's getting angry. Uh, put it over here. Yeah. So two boxes worth of wealth. Now, we um, we can make these things, by the way, over here on the... Yeah, let's close that down. The carpenter makes your crates. So we've got the storage crate. The small one takes one block of wood. A large crate takes two blocks of wood. And a leather-bound chest takes two blocks of wood. And, of course, a bolt of leather. So, uh, very easily made, and we can eliminate these... These stockpiles, if you so desire. Um, the one advantage the stockpile has, obviously, is that you can see stuff at a glance. Because you cannot see inside the crates until you open it and then click contents and it shows you what's in there. So, that's, um... Hold on. Hey! Get the wealth out of there. Who's stashing the cash in the wooden box? <laughs> These guys are always trying to get away with stuff. And it sounds like uh, our footman is still chasing that goblin. I hope that ends quickly. Um, all right, so storage crates are pretty cool, and we do have stockpiles all over the place, so it will be nice to be able to get organized a little bit. Um, these are all stockpiles, and of course you can uh, you can eliminate stockpiles simply by removing them um, from this particular screen. You bring up your stockpile zone thingy, and then you delete it, and you can just take stuff out too, so very cool. So we're going to get organized here at the Punchwood Village eventually. Now, who is that? Trader. Oh, we need a, we need a trader. What? Passing through. Trade. No! Get out of here. Alright, so Rhea wins that has achieved Farmer 3. Hey, that's great! Guess what, Rhea? I don't want you to farm anymore. Here's what we're gonna do with Rhea. Here's, here's the other thing that we can do 
with this particular uh, version. Let's go to change jobs. Hey, Rhea, what I want you to do is become a cook. And level one farmer and so what? Oh, we have a spoon. Can we make a spoon? Um, we're gonna turn Rhea into a farm into a uh, cook. It's a new class. And I could have sworn we had a spoon. If not, then we'll just go make a spoon. So all we have to do is assign that on the mason's workbench. Right there. Oh, maybe a goblin stole our spoon. Hmm. It seems so because I'm pretty sure I made it. <laughs> A spoon before? Oh wait, here it is. Cook spoon. Uh, now we're gonna have an extra. Let's try that again. Um, Rhea. We're gonna click on this and change jobs. There we go. Okay, that other spoon didn't register for some reason. Now we're gonna turn Rhea into a cook. Now there's a goblin sneaking in camp and our footman's off chasing um, that other goblin somewhere. There we go. All right, nice work. Now, Rhea, come here. Stop moving. All right, apprentice cook. We'd like you to build your workshop, please. And it is a stone cauldron. Let's put all my workshops here in a long line. And let's see what you can do. Hey, we need some lighting over here. Um, do we have any more lights? Nice. So here's something I wanted to do, in fact. This is why I made up all these crates. I wanted to use these crates like this next to each workshop kind of um, store the related items in them so that the workers don't have to go too far so that's gonna be awesome so they can just we can assign just the uh, cooking supplies for example in here which would be like food and drink and I think that would be everything what else would she need to make food I think maybe plants for like wheat or something. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Um, but first, I want to put some lights over here. So, can somebody make some lights, please? Let's have the mason make some lights. How about a stone garden lantern? Let's make a couple of those. They look pretty. Um, yeah, I apologize for the uh, battle music. It doesn't usually play constantly like this. Can you not catch that guy? Now oh, he's invincible. Oh, <laughs> not so much. All right, come on back. Tell you what, let me uh, let me save it here, exit the game, and come back and see if we can get that battle music to stop. Hold on, be right back. We'll wait till day too. We can't really see what's going on. I mean, you can't really cook a good meal in the dark, can you? Nah, hang on, be right back. All right, welcome back. It is now morning. And I shut the music off because it didn't go away. And here we go, guys. We have an immigration report. Day 8 of Deep Moon. Moon. 1,000. Yay. We met all the requirements for a new settler to join us. It's Lauren Joville. Let's go see. Let's welcome him. Warm welcome. Here he is coming through the woods. And he's got... Uh, No, you don't. You have lamb chop. No. Why? Why? We don't want you. You've got lamb chop sideburns. Oh my gosh, dude, it's not 1972. <laughs> well, it's probably like 1672, if it's America, anyway. Yeah, just stare at that flag and think about those lamb chops, okay? Somebody get that guy a razor. Anyway, what can we do? What can you do, Lauren? Let's check him out. Let's see. Okay, he's, he's got a four mind, a four body, and a two spirit. So here's what we're going to do with you, buddy. We're going to make you the new farmer. And hopefully we have, um, oh, do we have a farming tool, which would be a hoe? We don't, so let's make a hoe. And we'll turn uh, lamb chops over there into the farmer, since we turn our farmer into the cook. Okay, so let's cook. Let's see what we can make on the stone cauldron. Uh, we've got a sack of flour, which is made with wheat. And we now have a new wheat um, crop here. Relatively new, I think, but that's what that is right there. It's just sprouts right now. Oh, that's corn. Uh, oh, guys, do we not make wheat? Oh, my gosh. I made corn instead of... <laughs> I thought I had made the wheat. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, we're going to need that farmer leg like, sooner than later. Where'd he go? Oh, boy. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's turn our new guy into this uh, farmer. And I should have had this prepared, but I'm sorry. I 
thought I had set up a wheat farm, but apparently I did not. Hurry up, farmer! Yeah, yeah. Hey, why don't you use that thing to shave off those <laughs> sideburns, man? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's make some wheat. Doesn't have to be too large. There we go. Boom. Go. Well, this is going to take a while. No, no, no. Forget about the harvesting, man. Oh, boy. Um, why is everybody standing around doing nothing? All right, guys. We're back. And we now have wheat coming out of our ears. <laughs> Let's check it out. 35 bales of wheat. Uh, so, unfortunately, Punchwood Village is not gluten-free. But I promise you, we are non-GMO certified. No genetically modified organisms here. It's all organic. One well, maybe 97.4% organic, I believe. Um, just a little fertilizer here and there. But anyway, we also have carrots as well. So that actually took um, promoting two of our manual laborers, general laborers, to, uh, to farmers to back up. What's his face over here? Lorne Mutton Chops Joville. <laughs> So anyway, now we can make some savory foods for our restaurant. Uh, in fact, we've already got the cook working. Rhea Winsett is working on her cauldron over here. I've already assigned her to keep uh, three sacks of flour in stock and also one peasant bread. So the three sacks of flour that she makes requires three bales of hay. And then with the uh, sacks of flour, we can make the peasant bread. And she's also got two other dishes here that she can make and this is a savory meat stew and we have a tasty vegetable stew for the vegetarians in town so I have all the ingredients now available for these like carrots and turnips and the corn uh, I'm sorry and uh, and and wheat and so forth hey guys stop playing with your food dinner's gonna be ready in a second that's rude in fact tell you what here's what I did guys check out my uh, my restaurant I put these crates outside the restaurant so that we can store all the food in here and the um and our patrons don't have to walk too far so they're all assigned just for food and drink only and guys please stop that here's what we're going to do so we're going to go in here to the stockpile and we're going to remove all the food products from that stockpile and they are going to transfer it all into the proper boxes and i love these crates i love how you can stack them up like that doesn't that look awesome there they go shove them on in there they'll fit <laughs> an armed goblin he gads what where Ooh. oh he's got like a what is that is that a butcher's knife his name is crew death fist armed and dangerous he's don't go after my pet fox uh oh where is our footman where's daff there he is go da go get him daff he's stealing something isn't he Track him down. Daff will get him. All right. While Daff's chasing down that... Oh, we got him. Let's watch this fight. Yeah, you better run. My name is Daff Bell Tower, and I got a big hammer. Put that back. Good job. <laughs> oh, they have backpacks, by the way. See how much he's carrying right now? That little stinker was getting away with two... Three jerkies. Three jerkies and a peasant. He was going to steal our peasant bread. We just made that. Good job, Daff. Now let me show you Daff's backpack. Everybody has a backpack now so they can carry more items so they're more efficient carrying stuff back and forth. So that's awesome. Um, anyway, all right. So it looks like everybody's hungry. And are you going to stand right by the crates and eat? Guys, I made you a lovely dining hall. There we go. Good. So they go into the crates to grab some chow, sit down and eat. Everybody's going to eat right now. Awesome. All right. That's great. So let's go ahead and assign some, uh, let's make some more breads. Let's make, um, actually, let's not make bread because that's for peasants. Let's make savory meat, let's make two savory meat stews for the meatosauruses and some tasty vegetable stews for the vegetosauruses. Perfect. All right, so that's pretty cool. I like to cook. Unfortunately, there's just not that many recipes right now, but more will be added. This is the first iteration of the cook class. And uh, I'm sure this is going to be filled with lots of good, tasty chow choices. Our menu is going to expand. How many pets do we need? No, oh, here we go. Okay. It's so Rhea's going to make her... Looks like she's going to make one of the stews now. Now, this is a problem. She does have to go all the way over there. Now, I thought I had... We've got plants, raw ingredients, and food containers should go in here too so she doesn't have to go quite as far 
I don't want cooked foods in there, though. Just the raw stuff. All right, that's good. Okay, let's watch her cook. Oh, it looks delicious. Where's it going? Where are you going with that? No, 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 no! No, bring it to the restaurant! Dang fool! Ah, <laughs> Pick that back up. Pick it up! No, 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 no! Rhea, what's wrong with you? No, 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 no! Keep her moving! This stew goes to the restaurant! Alright, she's gonna make... One more stew. This might be the vegetarian stew. Looks like she's got a pumpkin there, some carrots, and turnips. Sounds delicious. There it is. Vegetable stew. And where are you going to go with that vegetable stew? You're going to put it right there in the ground. Oh, it's going to cool off a little bit. She's got it in her backpack, I bet. Let's check the backpack. Yep, there it is. She's going to carry it around for a little while with her pumpkins. Oh, here she goes. Here she goes, guys. She's delivering her stew to the restaurant. And it's there. Anybody want it? And with that, my friends, I think we're going to call it quits. All the Punchwoodians are climbing into their beds and calling it a day. So that's our cue. Good night, everybody. Sweet dreams. They're all safe and sound in their little mean beds as Daff, uh, a few good men, <laughs> protect the city. <laughs> <laughs> you want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. <laughs> Good job, Dab. <laughs> Keeping everybody safe and sound. All right, guys. We'll see you next time in Alpha 12 when um, I think Animal Husbandry is coming in Alpha 12. So I'm very excited about that. I think we're going to have some, uh, some chickenses to interrogate and torture. <laughs> Can't wait. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.